Welcome to the third in a series of short videos I am sharing online with some tips about church leadership and management. These tips come from our Management for Church Leaders training, which has been taught globally for over 20 years now. In this video, I want to share with you tip number three, which is the need for pastors and leaders to have a vision for their church or ministry. Proverbs 29, 18 says this, Where there is no vision, the people perish. Another translation says, where there is no vision, the people cast off restraint. Well, what does this mean? It just means that if you don't have a vision or a goal you're striving for, people will come up with their own vision, their own goal of what they think it should be. And so people will not be uh, working together towards the same goal. They'll all have different goals. So it's important for you to have a vision for your church or ministry and a goal that everyone is aware of and everyone is working towards. Without a vision, a ministry has no direction. It's like a big ship in the ocean that doesn't have a rudder. It'll just spin around. It, it can't go where it wants to go. A vision provides focus for the ministry. It provides you with a set of goals or just one goal of what you're trying to achieve, whether it's building a church, uh, doing mission work, or setting up a school, whatever it may be. You need a vision for your church or ministry and a goal that everyone can work towards. Secondly, a vision clarifies the purpose and the goals for your ministry. It tells people what you're here to do. And you need that kind of vision or purpose to keep everybody focused on the same thing. And third, a vision quantifies the goals of the ministry. A vision has to be something you can measure. It has to be something that you're trying to achieve and, and that you'll know when you get there. Where does this vision come from? Well, God gives each leader a vision for their church or their ministry. He is the provider of the vision. And he supplies the purposes and the goals for what he would like you to do. And we are called to be obedient to God's will and to follow his direction in our church and ministry. But God also supplies the resources for the vision. He doesn't just say, here, I want you to do this and then leave you all alone. He's going to provide you with the people, uh, the time, the money, uh, facilities, whatever you need to accomplish the vision that he has given to you. Finally, a vision energizes and mobilizes your followers. A shared vision attracts participants. People want to get involved in something big and something exciting going on at your church, whether it's building a new building or going on your first mission trip or starting a school. Whatever it is, people want to participate. Secondly, a vision gives ministry members something to work for. Um, they want to be part of it. They want to use their gifts and their skills to help the church accomplish its vision or ministry, whether it's construction or organizing or uh, designing, whatever it may be. They want to share their skills uh, to help you achieve your vision. And thirdly, a vision makes people feel part of something big for God. Um, oftentimes our lives are pretty mundane, but we get the opportunity every once in a while to be part of something big, whether it's building a big new church or starting a new ministry, whatever it may be. And people want to be part of something big. It's exciting. And it's something that gives them significance and fulfills them in their lives. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful for you in your ministry. Next time, I will be discussing how pastors and leaders need to have a plan on how to accomplish their vision. To request a free copy of our Management for Church Leaders self-training book or any of our other training resources, please visit our website at www.faithlifeministries.net.